What's up guys? Welcome to a new episode of Okoraji Magic. Once again, the corona thing is a difficult period for all of us, but like I said before, try to stay positive. Just try to stay positive. Do everything you can do in order to become the best possible version of yourself. In this episode, I will show you three drills, three drills which will make you the master of dribbling. So guys, let's go. So guys, the only thing you need in order to do those three drills is yourself and the ball. That's all you need, and a little bit of space. So for the first drill, we will dribble with the ball. Use two parts of the foot. The laces and the bottom of the foot. So for the second exercise, use once again two parts of the foot. The laces and the inside of the foot. Guys, the third dribbling exercise, the last one, you can use any part of the foot. So the laces, inside of the foot, bottom of the foot, anything. Guys, like I said before, for this drill you only need yourself and the ball. That's all. Only yourself and the ball and a little bit of space. We are going to dribble over a distance of 15 to 20 meters at 100%. 100%. Then you rest for 30 seconds maximum. Maximum 30 seconds. Guys, I guarantee you, if you do this drill, I'm telling you, it's very, very tiring and it will certainly uh, make you feel out of breath. So in other words, your, your training two things at a time. Number one, you're improving your dribbling ability. That's number one. Number two, you're also improving your condition. So that's wonderful. Two things at one time. You do 10 to 20 reps, depending on your condition. So guys, when you do this drill, focus on three things. Number one, this is the most important one. Always keep your head up. Always keep your head up. As a player, you must always see everything that is happening on the field. For example, imagine this scenario. You're on the field and a teammate of yours is in a wonderful position to score a goal. You see, if it's your duty to pass that ball, you have to pass that ball. That's the only correct option. If you don't pass that ball and your team loses the game, brother, Hmm. I'm telling you, in the dressing room, the coach will kill you. You will get killed. You will even get shot. So guys, always, when you're dribbling, always keep your head up. Because the thing is, dribbling ability means nothing if you don't release the ball at the right moment. The second thing. The second thing you need to focus on is a very quick change of direction because the best dribblers, whether it's Messi, whether it's um, Ronaldo, Mane, Salah, what makes them so so effective in dribbling is they know when to change direction and they do this in combination with a high level of speed. So dribbling is all about quick change of direction. So when doing this drill, we we'll try to make as many sharp movements as you possibly can and in order to do this try to focus on a really low center of gravity because the lower because the lower your center of gravity the easier you will be able to change direction
The third thing you need to focus on is speed. Because brother, <laughs> football is all about speed. The more you will do this drill, the faster you will become. On the condition that you do those drills consistently. Week in, week out. If you do so, trust me, you will become as fast as Cristiano Ronaldo. So guys, let me shortly highlight the importance of speed. If you look at, for example, Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Sadio Mane, Neymar, um, if you look at those players, they are incredibly skillful. Skill moves, five stars. Five star skill moves. So incredible, incredible technique. But the thing is, the thing is, it's the speed, it's the speed they're using while dribbling, which make them incredible. So guys, if you have the skill moves, wonderful. If you can combine it with speed, brother, I'm telling you, you become unstoppable. Doe ik mag niet uitdagen, dan wacht ik. Ja, mijn bal zou eens een keer de tafel gaan, denk ik. So guys, these three exercises that I just showed you include every part of the foot you use when you're doing a dribbling action. If you master these three exercises, we will play like Bele. Smash it like button, just smash it. If you have a comment, comment. Also share this video with anyone who needs to get better at dribbling. And guys, last thing, better subscribe. Enjoy the sun. Peace.